And we begin tonight with a pesty problem discovered at a Detroit EMS medic unit, and right now that place is off limits. That's until something can be done about the bed bug invasion. 7 Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl joins us live from outside medic unit 4 on Detroit's west side. Ronnie, you've got your suit on. Uh, what can you tell us? <laughs> You know, I'm, I know it may seem a little extreme to some people, but right now I am trying to work my way through a case of poison ivy I got on the job. The last thing I want to do is bring home bed bugs, but this place is infested. And, you know, these medics, they don't have the same option. They don't have a hazmat suit. They never know when they are going to be exposed to the bugs. In fact, we're told this problem can be traced back to a patient. The sign on the door at Medic 4 on Detroit's west side serves as a warning. Don't enter bed bugs. The place is toxic. When you hear bed bugs, what do you think? It's terrible. It's terrible. Disgusting, nasty, and it shouldn't happen nowhere. Nobody wants to be around bugs, period. Sources tell me the pesky critters weren't only found at Medic 4, but also on two ambulances. The ricks had to go out of service while they were scrubbed clean. But bed bugs can be hard critters to get rid of. Are you certain that the bugs are gone? We inspected it. They were cleaned twice. Um, first with uh, alcohol and then with the hospital grade uh, disinfectant right afterwards and they were inspected and they were found to be gone. Medic 4 is attached to engine company 54 and ladder company number 26's firehouse. It's been sealed off to prevent contamination of the rest of the fire station. But there's a problem. Medic 4 is one of the units I told you about last week that had a broken bay door. It's still not fixed. Since it won't open, the bug infested furniture is hard to get to. The bugs were actually brought into the quarters and that was identified on Sunday and um, yesterday we subcontracted the work to be fumigated and that'll be done tomorrow. So right now it's a quarantine. The city need to clean up these bad bugs, okay? And so the crew should be out here sometime tomorrow to start the fumigation so that the crew can get moved back in here. One other problem here, some of the medics that were affected by this, some of them are new and they were only issued one uniform that was contaminated because of these bed bugs. They had to take it home and clean it themselves. I'm told that the city is going to be addressing that issue as well. So to all of them, if you want my hazmat suit, I'll be happy to pass it along. For now, we are live on Detroit's West Side. Back to you.